What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're making lasagna. You might be wondering why I'm dressed so eclectically. Look no further for the answer is this microwave cooking from Sears. Now I came across this when I was looking through my mother's cookbooks and I thought wow microwave cooking this looks like a very old book. And I opened it I started leaping through the pages until I came across a date Microwave Cookery, published in 1971. And then I leaf to the back of it, and it has confirmation. Purchased May 27th, 1977, from Sears. I was looking through all of the wonderful recipes and seeing so many eclectic things like oriental chicken and saucy wieners. <laughs> and then I came across something that I knew I was destined to try. Microwave 1971 lasagna. And I thought, YouTube series. So let's get into it. So it recommends that you use two 8x8 eight eight baking dishes, but we don't have any 8x8 eight eight baking dishes. And we could only find ones that were pretty much different sizes from each other. So I was originally going to cut the recipe in half and do one half of it in the microwave and one half the traditional oven way. And now we've had to improvise, and I'm cutting it in thirds. So I'm doing one third the microwave way, and two thirds the regular way. So, first step in our microwave lasagna. Place noodles in two quart baking dish. Cover with water and sprinkle with salt. Cook uncovered 15 minutes. Remove from oven and let noodles stand in cooking water while preparing meat sauce. So let's get into it. I have my noodles here, resized for my adorable little baking dish, and I have some water, which I didn't let preheat. I'm just going to pour it over the noodles until they're covered. Now, we just put it in the microwave. So since our microwaves are so much more powerful now than they were when they were first invented, I'm going to cook it in three minute intervals until I feel like the water is hot enough and we'll see how long it takes to cook them. Well, our microwave noodles are microwaving. We're going to address our realism. So since I'm doing one third of the recipe in the microwave and it originally called for one pound, I'm going to be using two thirds of it for my real lasagna. Preheating my pan on medium high, and we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of olive oil in it for browning. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And now, something I doubt they had in 1971. You'll see a cameo from this in my next video where I show you how to make the pasta sauce. We're gonna use this to break up our beef. How fun! Now, since we're going to cook this in the oven, we don't really need to worry about it being fully cooked. I'm just going to break it up and make sure it gets nice and brown, and then I'll add the sauce. Alright. We've had our microwave noodles going for 11 minutes in total, and I think that they're soft enough now. If not, then they'll cook a little bit more when we microwave the whole dish later, and they're going to sit in the water while we prepare the meat. Make sure you use oven mitts, because this is very hot. In a two-quart casserole or mixing bowl, crumble ground beef. Cook uncovered five minutes, stirring occasionally to break beef into small pieces. Drain off juices. Stir in spaghetti sauce. Now, going to microwave on our same low setting for five minutes, like the recipe says. So this is our first time breaking up and stirring. As you can see, microwaves don't cook food evenly, so this step is incredibly important. Back in we go. While our meat's still cooking, we'll begin to prepare our ricotta. Our original recipe calls for eight ounces total of cottage cheese. I think cottage cheese is gross, so I'm using ricotta instead. And since we're having the recipe, I'm going to use around four ounces. So for the preparation of our cottage cheese, step one, 
and it's done. I'm just gonna mash it up a little bit so it's not container shaped. And this is legitimately all they want you to do to the cottage cheese. Now, our ground beef is ready. The next step says to drain and add the spaghetti sauce, but we don't really have anything to drain, so we're just gonna add our spaghetti sauce. It is worthy to note that instead of grocery store ground beef, we're using freshly ground chuck from our local deli. The original recipe calls for two cups of tomato sauce. Since we're splitting it into a third, that should be two thirds of a cup. But I have a lot of tomato sauce, so we're just doing a full cup for fun. So pour it in. And that's our meat sauce. Our next step is to drain and rinse our noodles. Oh, hello there. Our next step is to assemble the lasagna. Assemble in two quart baking dish by layering one third noodles, one third meat mixture, half of cottage cheese, and half of mozzarella. Repeat with next layer of noodles. On last layer of noodles, spread one third of meat mixture and sprinkle with Parmesan cheese. Cover loosely with wax paper and cook 10 minutes or until heated through. Let stand covered about five minutes for ease in cutting and serving. So let's eat. Now, our recipe isn't telling us to put any sauce on the bottom, which is what I've always done when I've made lasagna, and we don't want our noodles to stick, so I'm gonna go a little bit off the books here and just put a tiny bit so we don't have a horrible sticking problem. leave it there for the five minutes that it says to let cool. And while that's cooling, we're gonna start on our legit lasagna. First things first, we need to take our sauce and pour it into our meat. All right, we're just gonna mix our meat into our remaining pasta sauce. Now we're ready for assembly. The first thing that you wanna do is preheat your oven to 375. So now to prepare our ricotta. I'm going to take the remainder of our ricotta, just throw it in our bowl. And I'm going to take one egg. A big handful of Parmesan. A big handful of Mott's. A nice sprinkle of oregano. A nice ground of pepper. And we just mix it all together. Delicious. 
Now we're ready to start assembly. I'm gonna take a nice scoop of our meat sauce, spread it around the bottom like before so our sheets don't stick. And now the key difference here is instead of using box pasta, we're using fresh pasta sheets that we got from our local deli. They come in this size for regular sized lasagna pans, so we had to trim them down, but either way works just as well. Now, unlike our 70s cookbook, we're gonna put our ricotta on first because it's much easier to spread that way. Next, a third of our meat sauce. we're going to cover and bake in our 375 degree oven for 25 minutes covered and then 5 minutes uncovered. And I can't wait to show you the comparison. See you then! Alright, our lasagna is finally done. Let's see how it came out. Beautiful. Now we're going to let it rest for 15 minutes until it's cool enough to cut. I'll see you then. Okay, our lasagnas have cooled and we're finally ready to cut into them. Let's get into it. Here's our beautiful microwave baby. Now it's time to cut into the modern lasagna. Stunning. Let's go in for a bite of both lasagnas. With our microwave lasagna. Delicious. 
Now we're going to take a bite of our modern lasagna. Uh-huh. Holy shit, that's fucking amazing! Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody. In all seriousness, the microwave lasagna isn't really that bad. For the amount of effort that we put into it, it's seriously palatable. So, if you're in a pinch, if you're in a dorm, this is actually not that bad of a recipe. I'll make sure to post the actual recipe in the description. And, if anybody wants the modern lasagna, which is really just my family's recipe, I can post that in the description too. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe if you liked what you saw. Tune in next week to see how I made the sauce for this lasagna, and bye!